you know? slices. I don't know. That's a full pie. All right, Frankie. Uh, peace review time. We are still Saratoga, Caroline Street. I don't. What's going on? I there don't you know how I haven't done seven pizza before. Um, pizza seven, actually. Special guest Todd Pletcher, world's one of the world's most famous trainers. Kentucky Derby's Breeders' Cup. Although, did I look? No Preakness. No Preakness. No that, Preakness. We gotta get on that. Maybe with All Right Frankie. But most importantly, <laughs> the trainer of All Right Frankie named up. Oh, you wants this this. One. Right. So, most importantly, uh, is the trainer of All Right Frank with Mike Rapoli. We picked him out. He's like, hey, this horse looks great. All right, Frankie, how would you describe him? So far, he's been a little bit on the pedestrian side. So we had to back off of him for a little bit. Hopefully, he comes back. He's New York bred. Hopefully, he gets some fun this winter at Aqueduct. Let me put it this way. He's being <laughs> kind. I got a text from Rapoli who said, hey, I got good news and bad news. The good news was he was hurt. That's the good news <laughs> on the horse that he maybe he's so slow, maybe he was bothered. So all right, Frankie, for all you people, uh, you know what I try to do? You don't know this. I texted him yesterday. I didn't even know you do it. I wanted to dename him. You wanted to rename him, I, unname him. I want to unname him because okay. all right, Frankie is such a good name. Although Bob Baffert said it was a Wednesday horse name, which at this point maybe might be accurate. <laughs> yeah, it might be accurate. Uh, you can dename a horse or take it off of them and wait till you have somebody who can run. That's how slow the current All Right Frankie is. Anyways, thank you for doing it right before the races in Saratoga. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Uh, let's do it, let's just, give just it. Just fill me in on the rules because if one bite, one bite, everyone knows the rules, but sometimes I see you taking like two or three bites before you're, while well, you're processing the, yeah, the, the whole thing. Yeah, well, so you're on, you're on top of it. Do I have to make it. an opinion after one bite or can I? I never tell the guests how okay. to do it. Right. You play, right. if, and, now, it's, and it's a scale of one to 10? That's correct. One okay. to ten. No, there's never been a ten. Well, here's the thing. If I, well, I usually put it in figure skating terms, but I'll put it in horse racing terms. Okay. If you said this was a ten, right? What happens if then next year you have a horse that is faster than well, that ten? Well, that's why like, when we're at the sales and we're judging horses, we'll never give a ten. Correct. Yeah. Okay. That's right, exactly I how I okay. do the pizza. It's the same exact way because gotcha. then you can never be better. Okay. I may make you come with me to the sales because Rapoli, who's got all this money, I don't have his money. He may be running a scam on me that he's just taking, he wants to buy all these new, he's like, you can't have one, we gotta have a million. We'll, we'll let him focus on the beverage industry. Yes. You and I will focus on the pizza and the horse. <laughs> I like that, I all like right. that. All right, so that's all what right. we got. Uh, pizza seven, that's, I don't know what that means except maybe bet the seven in the first today. Not bad. I think it's good. You have this for after one bite? I'm thinking uh, 7.7. .7. Well Is that played. Too high? With this. No, it's well played with the seven. Yeah, 7.7. 7 .7 yeah, seven pizza. This will air at six o'clock, <laughs> so I was gonna ask for tips for today. By the way, another trainer thing—they never get tips. I've never gotten a tip from a trainer. You ask them if they like a horse, they're like, they just kind of. Mm -mm, but you can't tell till after the race is over. <laughs> Otherwise, you just look bad. Um, I think seven seven slightly high. Like a little more sauce on there, a little more cheesiness, or I like a little more firmness. I think yeah. it's a little bit doughy. Yeah. Um, so you want it when you pull it to like. Correct. Okay. Now Caroline Street's also like the the nightlife in Saratoga. It gets very busy, so I'm sure this is open late and drunk pizza. I've coined a slogan: if it's open late, it ain't that great. <laughs> That's generally with pizza. If you're open till three, it can't be that but good. You might think it's great at that time. Exactly right. Um. Man, I'm oh, right. Time with this one. I think I'm going six eight. Six eight. Six eight. Okay. I was debating right. so I, seven. I was maybe a little high, but uh, I think you played with the seven. Yeah, it's a numbers thing. Who do you like in the Whitney? Are you gonna give me that? Do you have horses in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I, if I told you how much money I've lost on this horse, Vino Rosso, that is also Rapoli. Now, he did win the last race. Yeah, Rapoli will give you a refund if you, if you don't. Yeah, right. He probably he should pay me not to bet on the horse because every time I bet on it, We can, we it can arrange that. We can arrange that. All right, Todd Fletcher, I appreciate it. I know you're busy every race day. Um, that's Review Pizza 7. So, Vino Rosso, Whitney Saturday. Like I said, this horse, every time I bet on him, he loses. Okay, don't bet on it. Bet on McKenzie. Help us out. All right. There you go. That's a review. Perfect. All right. Thank All right. you. Thanks, that was perfect. Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah.